Hello, welcome to the lab again. So today we're going to be talking about the Istio and the service mesh. Well, in case what is Istio? It's a, at a high level. It's a Istio. It's the hottest thing today working with the Kubernetes with this cloud platform. And uh, we're going to check out the benefits of it, how to run distributed microservice architecture and provides a uniform way to secure all then connect with them in the mesh thing. If you go into a mesh idea, it's a GR, like interlocking, how to interact all the microservices together. So here you're going to, I am already with the running Kubernetes on local host. I have also Kali. Jagger and Grafana, everything I installed and configured the Istio stuff. In this case, for running Istio, you're going to have here to check your namespaces, all those things installed, configured. For the installation, it's pretty simple, mm, independent of the, the operational system. Where in this case, here we have no workloads and here no applications. We have only the configurations of Istio if you get namespace of Istio system, the gateway, services running the workloads, and the application is standard for all those things I showed before here, like Jaeger, Grafana, and itself Kiali, of course. In this case, get back to Overview. Let's be back to the Overview stuff. So there's no application. In this case, going to be running this application over here. While it gets there, you're going to be running. Uh, one second. This is my. In this case, I'm running with the um, scaffold. We're going to be using scaffold. And there is this project which you're going to share. In this case, here, I just ran the this command scaffold run okay it's going to be doing all the work for us it's going to be check out the yamls so leave we'll that running so this is deploying as you can see all right this application wait a second this is a failure thing when it becomes a grim you're going to be green here too in this case in a while you're going to be showing let's see how it's going to deploy yeah everything perfect let me Change it to the other screen. And GitHub is not helping them. Okay, let's go in there to the Istio. Istio. So in this case, here this is just a configuration of Spring Boot, etc. So this is the project. And here is the YAML and the uh, for the scaffold, so it's going to be running those YAMLs, and here's a Docker image, etc. This is a part of scaffold, not part of Istio. In this case, here I create a virtual server thing, and this is deployment. The gateway itself, we're already using the gateway of uh, Istio, Ingress Gateway. Serving at here, this is called Ingress. Ingress Gateway, we are in this case here is Ingress Gator Istio selector, it's called it Ingress Gateway, which we are using in our virtual server. So here is the namespace. Remember, namespace. Name of the gateway, our redirection, or destination of our service with the prefix slash. In this case, we have only one. And this is our deployment. There's just one deployment, the service, okay? This is a part of um, how to deploy a service into Kubernetes. In this case, already green. You can see here we have our workloads, we have our deployment, it's product service one, and a service here, okay? So in this case, this is a node port with this port here. We could be accessing our application, so. She white HTML. All right, and in this case we have our service. Uh, okay, let's get to application. Let's get namespace all of default. We have our, our service. Okay, this is our workload. As you double check here, your workload. Let's put in workloads. 
same name, sure, your service, and you have a virtual service. Okay, this is our virtual service. You can check the YAML thing, or this this is pretty much better. The, the overview. So in this case here, our load balancer port is 80. So I'm gonna show you another way to double check the local host stuff of the of the gateway okay so in this case here our istio system which is our namespace you're getting the service istio ingress gateway so in this case we have all the definitions of the ports that our load balancer that we are using okay let's wait its response and we can double check here on Kali. So in this case here now is two config. Let's go back here to is two config. Let's put the both namespaces. We can double check the our ingress gateway. So everything matches the host aster is going to be ready and the port 80 is going to our ingress gateway. So that's what the gateway that we are using. So that's why you'll be able to have this virtual service in this port and redirects to this port. Virt serve does this destination to the other part, doing this kind of proxy stuff. Here we go. I wonder you can see all the spores, definitions of that. There's a, a way to, to get into the, the file, the definition of the file. You can run this command here. You're going to show just one second. It's going to edit the service, okay? If you edit the service and it's your namespace, on the fly opens this 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 okay that you can see everything definition of the ingress gateway all the parts the stuff in this case you're not going to edit anything in this case localhost of course is running locally it's not running a virt, uh, unix virtual machine can sell it is okay we can also minimize it so that's the way how to, you can wor be working with Istio and the virtual service. In this case, we did a mesh thing. And uh, if you have any questions, any doubts, you, can, you guys can ask. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.